In this video, I will explain you the experiment Faraday and Henry has done that has given rise to a concept of electromagnetic induction. Now, Faraday and Henry, as per Faraday and Henry experiment, he has done two experiment. One is with a coil and a magnet. Other thing is with two coil. Now, as per the first experiment, he has taken a coil and it is connected across a galvanometer. So it is a closer closed circuit in this way. And he kept a magnet here and measured the deflection here. The deflection is zero, which means there is no current passing through the circuit. Now, when he has kept the magnet moving towards the coil, what he has seen is there was a deflection in the coil. So, moving magnet moving towards coil, there is a deflection in the coil, i.e. he has measured. Then after that, he has stopped the coil here and taken the measurement. Then the current was zero, i.e. is equal to zero at here. Now after that, he has taken the magnet backward to the initial position. So in that condition also the magnet is moving away from the coil. So I he has measured. Then he has stopped here. Then I is equal to zero. So what is this experiment says? Here the current is zero. But when he is moving it towards the coil, he has measured a deflection. When, but when he has stopped at one position, then deflection is zero. Then when he has taken backward, away from the coil, he has got a deflection, but this deflection was opposite to the initial deflection. So initially when I is equal to I in one direction, but in backward movement, the current was equal to minus I. See, this is very important. Current in one direction, when it is moving towards the coil, current in opposite direction, when it is moving away from the coil. Okay, now, as per the second experiment, he has kept a coil connected with a cell and a switch. Very near to that, he was having another coil and it is just connected across galvanometer. So here, the relative movement was the cause for current in the circuit. But here, there was no relative movement made. What he has done is, he has simply closed the switch and taken the measurement then he has opened the switch and taken the measurement there is no relative movement this is neither moving rightward this is not moving leftward so we will see the observe write the observation here so as of now it is open now first observation closed the moment it closed he has got a deflection here so current in the coil so what is happening to the current in this coil when the moment he closed it will gradually increase from zero to a current i initially the current is zero right now from that value it has got increased to i so from zero to i current increases at that time he has got a measurement here i now he has kept he has kept that circuit in closed condition so now initially the moment we close it zero to i is the current increment he has got a deflection now it remained in closed condition but there is no measurement here so i remains same i is equal to i but there is no current in coil two now what he has done he has opened the circuit the moment he has opened the circuit he has got a deflection here so what was the change in this circuit current decreases the value from i is from i to zero see now uh, two ampere was going that gradually decreased to zero he has got a current but opposite in this direction now in the last experiment he has kept it open that the circuit was open for a longer period of time so current is zero i is equal to zero forever at that time there is no deflection now compare these two experiment if at all if he has drawn a conclusion from this as relative movement make the induced emf here then that would be wrong here because there is no relative movement but still we, he was able to get an induced current here so with the experiment he found that it is neither the relative 
movement alone or nor the magnetic field alone here magnetic field see when he has stopped the magnet here there is magnetic field line right that is start st starting from north pole and ending at south pole but there is no current here so if at all if it is only magnetic field line then we would have got a current in this case but we have not got so it is neither magnetic field alone nor velocity alone there is some other quantity and he has told that the reason for this induced emf is equal to minus d phi by dt what is d phi phi is nothing but flux now see we will see what is meant by this equation when the magnet is here say for example there is magnetic field starting from here and that is being linked with this coil okay but we know that magnet is away far away from this coil so the flex linkage will be less now when we are moving it towards the coil linkage is getting more and more and more so there is a change in magnetic flux here it is increasing magnetic flux is increasing so a current is induced in it the moment we brought the movement to zero what will happen the flux linkage remains constant so if it is 10 weber then 10 weber forever okay so in that case there is no change in flux no current here when we are bring it back to the initial position flux linkage decreases but anyway that is a change in flux so that will induce a emf in the circuit here what is happening the moment now when it is in open condition there is magnetic flux starting from this and terminating on south so this is north and south say for example now flex linkage is there uh, initially there is no flex linkage flex linkage is zero the moment you close it magnetic field will start building up till the current increases the value to i so whenever the magnetic field increases across this coil flex linked with this coil also increases correct so there is a change in magnetic flux here when the moment we are closing the switch from zero to i current increases magnetic field intensity increases here flux increases and what happens there is a change in magnetic flux that induces a emf here so as it is closed circuit there is an induced current now after that when it remains closed what will happen current doesn't change magnetic flux linked with this is not changing but at the same time we have closed the circuit and if you are moving it towards the coil and away from the coil then there will be change in magnetic flux we can see an induced current here but now it is at fixed position so there won't be any change in magnetic flux when it is remain closed now the moment we are opening magnetic field lines one after another that will ceases to zero so what will happen there is a decreased magnetic flux linkage with this coil so that will induce a current in opposite direction now when we remain it open what will happen magnetic fl flux linkage due to this coil on this is zero there is no magnetic field line then how field lines can link with this coil so flux linkage is zero so zero remains zero so there is no change here so current in the coil is zero so always it is change in magnetic flux linked with the coil that produces an induced emf and when the circuit is closed see we have a battery in this way battery has got emf what is emf electromotive power right so this will not be able to send current by itself only when we are closing the circuit that then that will be sending a current so similarly when we are keeping it closed then there will be an induced emf and an induced current and if if it is not there then only emf will be induced here also as we are closing the circuit it can send current from positive to negative okay thank you